All right, in today's video, let's talk about mistakes on weighted pull-ups and go over the ones that I see way too many people wake way too often in the hope that you guys watch this video and actually know what those mistakes are and therefore prevent making them yourself. So without further ado, in no particular order, let's go over the most common mistakes on weighted pull-ups. The first one is starting off without having a good foundation. Now, if you guys watched my other video talking about my one on pull up mistakes, this was also the first one that I actually mentioned, and it is pretty much key whenever you're looking at any kind of intermediate to advanced level skill or exercise in terms of calisthenics. But also, aside from that, if you can't do normal pull-ups, common sense dictates that doing the weighted simply is not a good idea. So if you can't do 10 clean normal pull-ups, don't even think about doing weighted pull-ups. First and foremost, build up your foundation and build up your normal pull-ups because that way you will make sure that your basic structures are ready to be overloaded and also you will have embedded good pull-up form which long term is going to give you more progression and it's also going to reduce the risk of injuries. So if you currently want to start doing weighted pull-ups and you can't do 10 plus normal clean pull-ups, do yourself a favor and build up your basic foundation first in order to set you up for long-term healthy and good progress. And then the second mistake, which is having no clear goal. Now, whenever you actually start going to the gym and whenever you want to plan out your workouts or your training, one of the first questions that you have to answer is actually what are you training for and what are your goals when you actually go to the gym? Because your entire workout or training program will be put together based on what your goal actually is. So if you want to start doing weighted pull-ups, ask yourself a couple of questions. First and foremost, what is actually your goal in terms of weighted pull-ups? Do you want to do them for strength, hypertrophy or endurance? Are there any weaknesses they have to address and also are weighted pull-ups your main focus within your training? And if you can actually answer those questions, only then can you actually make a good workout routine or a training program, and only then can you actually make some good progress, and you can actually maximize your progress if it comes to your weighted pull-ups and pretty much your entire training overall. And then the third mistake most people make is having no structure within their workouts. Now I see this happening pretty much all the time with people going to the gym. They just go into the gym, have a kind of a loose idea of what they're going to do in that session, but they don't have their workouts planned out beforehand. And I'm not saying that you have to buy or follow training programs. I just want you to actually know what you did last week. Therefore, what you actually have to do this week in order to beat your last session. And also, if you want to make progress in your training, certain things need to be kept constant to ensure that you can progress week to week, like for instance, rep ranges. Because if you do a double on week one, a triple on week two, instead of five on week three, and your rep ranges are all over the place, it is quite difficult to make good progress because once again, your rep ranges aren't kept constant throughout the weeks of training. So I would say as a bare minimum, write down your workouts in your notes on your cell phone and try to progress week to week to week by trying to beat your last session. And then the next mistake is sacrificing form for weights. This is pretty much known as ego lifting and it happens pretty much with all types of resistance training, whether you're doing CrossFit, whether you're doing weightlifting, whether you're doing weight calisthenics, it pretty much happens all the time. People really want to lift as heavy as possible and therefore are going to sacrifice form to pretty much allow themselves to lift their heavy weight because they are not ready to lift their heavy weight with proper form. And my simple opinion on this is pretty much if you can't lift it properly, don't lift it at all. There definitely can be some form breakdown if you're going for a run at max, for example, but for the vast majority of your training, form needs to be kept as good as it can possibly be. And that is mainly to prevent any injuries from happening and therefore having to take breaks because of injuries and therefore ensuring that you can train for long periods of time continuously without having to take a break because you fucked up your shoulder for example. And then the last mistake that a lot of people make is being inconsistent with their training. And this one pretty much has two sides to it. First and foremost, obviously people that do weight pull for a couple of months, then stop for a few months and then go back to them a few months later, but also people that have the tendency to switch between goals 
quite frequently. So for example, for a few weeks, you really focus on hypertrophy training to get bigger, but then after a few weeks, you wanna get stronger, and so you change your entire training program because now you have to work in different rep ranges, and so you're pretty much going from strength hypertrophy, maybe some endurance training, and pretty much doing short periods of time dedicated to each goal is going to be highly inferior to really committing to one goal for a long period of time. So if you're doing weighted pull-ups, be consistent with them and do them over long periods of time, and also pick one goal, stick with it and write it out until maybe in a few months time, then you're ready to actually change up your goal and maybe go from some hypertrophy to, to some strength training all the other way around. And that is going to be the full video for today. Hope you guys actually enjoyed it. And as always, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and share the video with something that you think it might be useful to. If you guys have any more video ideas, questions, or advice, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, three videos a week. Thank you guys for watching and latest.